Welcome to your channel. El Pasticho. Today we have a wonderful recipe. Cornmeal cookies. Specials for people who are gluten intolerant, but a delight for everyone. They are rich and addictive. Really, you eat one, and you will want many more. They are a delicious option with few ingredients. You just need, 1 egg, 30 milliliters of oil, or if you prefer, 40 grams of butter, 200 grams of cornmeal, 200 grams of condensed milk, and a tablespoon of baking powder. With these ingredients you will get a wonderful result. Weigh all your ingredients before you start, and look for the necessary utensils. So here, I have the baking powder, egg, condensed milk, oil or butter if you prefer, and cornmeal. Also the bowl and the rest of the utensils. Start by adding the baking powder. The recipe is very easy, we just have to add the ingredients and mix. Add the cornmeal. Now the condensed milk. For those who fear that the dough will be too sweet or with a strange consistency, don't worry, the cookies will not be cloying and will have a spectacular texture. Children and adults will love them. If you want to add vanilla, cinnamon, or raisins, you can. It's a basic recipe that can be modified. But just plain, they are delicious. I'm incorporating everything very well and adding the rest of the ingredients. Keep in mind that corn flour takes longer to hydrate than wheat flour, so don't worry if the dough appears liquid at first. It will also vary if you use butter or shortening instead of oil. But keep in mind that although the texture reminds you of a cream or dulce de leche, in the end it will have the appropriate firmness. Speaking of dulce de leche, soon we will upload the recipe for the traditional and the recipe for the modern or simplified method, so that you have both options. Coming soon on your channel. As you can see in the preparation, everything is integrated, without lumps. We are going to concentrate the preparation in the center of the bowl. It does not matter that there is some moisture left. I recommend taking it to the fridge for around 15 or 20 minutes before making the balls. You can also form cylinders that you will wrap in cling film, and they can keep in the freezer, ready to use when you crave some delicious cookies. Here, I already took the dough out of the fridge and started to make the balls. I wet my hands a little with water, to help me handle the dough. We are going to make the balls and then we will place them on the baking tray. The recipe is also in the video description. On the channel, you will also find the recipes for milk and oatmeal cookies. Both delicious. But don't stop making these, especially, if you have never tried a corn cookie, you will love them. Continuing with the recipe. 
When you finish making the balls, take them back to the fridge for a few minutes. Set the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Being small pieces, it's better to bake them at high temperatures for less time. Now we are going to place them on the tray. Remember, I'm making small balls, but you can make cylinders and cut them to the thickness you prefer. You can also put raisins or whatever you prefer, but just like that, you will love them. You can sprinkle them with powdered sugar too and make designs on the surface. Flatten the balls and form the cookies, placing them on the tray. I use a non-stick mat, but if you don't have one, you just have to butter the surface of the tray. I use a small roller to give the surface a texture. Remember to leave space between the cookies, as they grow a bit in the oven. As you can see, I'm already finishing filling the tray. I dusted them with powdered sugar before putting them in the oven. It's optional, as I told you before. You choose what to put on them or if you want them original. Bake in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. It all depends on your oven. But, as a tip to know if they are cooked, check their base. If it already has a golden ring formed, it means that they are ready. Beautiful cookies. Try them. A recipe that is not only easy, and gluten-free, but delicious. Ideal for families with celiac members, especially for children. They are the perfect accompaniment to coffee, chocolate milk, or ice cream. I hope you liked it. Coming soon new recipes and tips, that you will love. Remember to subscribe, and press the like button.